Hey, how are you doing everyone? Alright, so Sam Muzzard. Michelle Richards. Who needs to change her name? Yeah, we'll get there. Because you're my wife, you should see Muzzard. It's not fair that women have to do it. They have to change so many documents and cards and. They could have done it and with their boss, because then you'd have the same name as Ryland, who's over there in the playpen. Anyway, we've got something interesting to talk about today. I don't know if well if you guys do follow Michelle Richards should be Muzzard on Facebook or Instagram, you would then know that she recently had her breast implants removed. It's been 17 days. Yeah, yeah, it's flying. Post surgery. So, how are you feeling? Um, recovery is going really well. Um, surprisingly, it was day surgery. It was day surgery. I was, yeah, in and out. Um, even that day, I felt pretty good. Yeah, I picked um, up. You had some drains hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Um, pain-wise, it was blood. it wasn't so bad. I, I didn't really take any. Well, I didn't take any no, pain you didn't. medication. Um, yeah, like, and even now, like, besides you know that stitching that's healing. Um, Half the time I forget that I even had surgery. Yeah. Alright, so we've, I've written a list of questions to ask Michelle, which you might be interested about. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, it's good to know. Uh, why did you want them out? Um, well, I became aware of, I guess, the health side effects that can come with breast implants um, halfway through my pregnancy with Rylan. Um, yeah, I had a girlfriend that uh, connected me to um, a community of women who have um, all you know believe that they're suffering from breast implant illness um, so that I guess inspired me to look further into it um, and I'm very much a facts science sort of person so I like to know mm -hmm. okay well you know why would these implants be causing you know I guess sickness and illness um, yeah and I think the more I sort of like looked into it and realized well really they are foreign things implanted in our chest. There's how, how long were they in, you've, well, that, that lot, mm. slot that you had removed? Yeah. You've okay. had one lot before. Yeah, so I think in... When, when were they first put in? Um, so I first got implants at 22. Um, and now you're 31, yeah, so, my old lady. So about nine years I've had implants for. All right, so time. how long did those first lot were in for? For three years. Okay, and then after, then you've had the yeah. second lot? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so pretty much, um, you know, as I looked further into it and realised, um, you know, they are foreign, they are made of silicone and plastics and all these toxic chemicals um, and how the body reacts to that is, you know, it has a foreign body reaction so then our body starts to form a capsule to protect our body from it. Um, so really why the body's so busy Your body makes it. that capsule. Yeah, yep, yeah, so that's our immune system reacting to something foreign. So while our body's busy spending all this energy, you know, forming this capsule around the implant and, you know, I guess attacking it, um, you know, when we're then exposed to other things like you know colds or um, bacteria or um, you know parasites or anything like that um, those things can really take hold of our body because that immune defense is a bit depleted from being really busy you know dealing with um, this other foreign body mm. um, so and then that's I guess what can make women more susceptible to lots of other health problems um, you know adrenals are a big one thyroid function is a big one gut issues are huge huge and a lot of implants can even build up mold and calcifications and microbes like horrible things um, and I've seen heaps of women's implants removed and they've got mold and horrible things in them so um, yes yeah, so I think the more I looked into it I think it actually frightened me and you know I just didn't want to live with what if this did cause me or already probably was a reason for some health um, issues that I felt like were starting to come on. Um, mm. I just didn't want to sit around and find out. And really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, pregnancy number two, when that happens. Um, I guess the reason I did it so quickly, um, once I stopped bre breastfeeding, is because I wanted to make sure I gave my body a bit of time to detox from them, um, allowing everything to heal. Um, and I'm really excited to go through pregnancy number two without implants. And yeah, I guess feeling a bit more connected to my body and yeah, mm. having these big balloons. How big were they? They were 480 grams each. Jeepers. So big, yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about your body now? Um, well, it's crazy how you adjust to things really quickly. Um, you know, I did prepare myself that, you know, it's got to be a change. It's got to be a change. It's a kilo and, difference. Yeah, and you know, I wasn't sure if my skin was going to stretch because I, I didn't have a lift. Um, I pretty much just went in and had them out. Um, You're but, a bit of a freak though. I mean, yeah. you've got no stretch marks yeah. during your whole pregnancy. 
Yeah. yeah. And surprisingly, since they were quite, yeah. well, they were really big, yeah. there's no tag. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I am very blessed and I do feel really grateful that I feel like my, my boobs have just gone back to probably what they would have been. Um, size wise, I can't really tell if they're bigger than what they were at 22, but honestly, I don't, know, no, I don't think know. they're much bigger. They're pretty, <laughs> pretty non existent. <laughs> do you regret ever having them in? Um, no. Well, Yes and no. I think that's really conflicting. I, I really do trust, you know, we do things in life for certain reasons and I don't think anything is a mistake as long as we learn from it. Um, so, you know, 22 year old Michelle, like, you know, breast implants did serve me at that time in my life. They did make me feel more confident, more feminine. Um, you know, I was competing in fitness comps and bikini comps around then and, you know, that, that felt like an asset to me at that time. Mm -hmm. um, not worth compromising my health for, but obviously being 22, you're a little bit more ignorant and, you know, and we, I think... I'm that, invincible. Yeah, and I think at that age, you know, there is a lot of importance in wanting to look a certain way and feel confident in your body. Um, you know, I was still discovering myself at 22, um, but, you know, as I've grown and matured and, you know, become a mum and a wife, um, I feel like it was really liberating for me to remove them and just be like, my body is okay how it is and actually just accepting myself how I am and I think for me to feel more natural means so much because you know as a coach that's what I preach is health and you know don't drink out of plastics and you know we eat all organic food and you know the, the lengths I go to to avoid putting chemicals on my body um, really started to make me feel like that's when it started to feel a bit conflicting is well you know how can I walk around with these plastic implants in my you know in my body when um, you know, I'm preaching all this health, so for me it was a really empowering decision to get them removed because I feel like it, it is allowing me now to more to live in line with yeah, my values. Yep. Last question: Is there anything you wish you were told before you had them? Yeah. In? Yeah, oh, definitely. Like if I had known um, how the body reacts to the implants um, when I first had them done, if I'd known every ingredient that they were made from um, and if I'd known how the body and the immune system reacts to the implants um, that would have definitely changed my decision but at, at that time that information wasn't really available and that you know we're at a really good time right now because the word is getting out and more women are talking um, you know and women are connecting their symptoms to other women with implants and it's to the point where it's like that can't be a coincidence so many women are suffering from the same health symptoms and all have implants in common. So I think because that voice is getting out there and um, spreading, um, more women are becoming informed. Like already I've had women messaging me saying they were thinking about having implants and since they read my post or investigated further, they're like not gonna go ahead with it. Um, other women who've got implants who are connecting with those symptoms, um, who've reached out to me, um, who are now putting the dots together, yeah, it's... Did we mention the symptoms? Did you mention... Yeah, so um, some of the more common ones are um, adrenal issues, um, immune system being a bit depleted, so more susceptible to getting sick all the time. Gut issues are a really big one um, because your gut can't fight things as well when you're... you know, trying to fight something else. Yeah, exactly. And because the implants can have all the yucky microbes on it as well, all the pathogens. Um, growing in it and thyroid wasn't it thyroid's a really big one which generally is you know once that adrenal glands you know you know fatigue then we start to see the thyroid starts to drop as well mm. um foggy vision um foggy thinking um i mean it, you know ha hair falling out so thinning of hair um the symptoms like hot night sweats is a really big one as well um hormone disruption so Honestly, the list really does go on. And a lot of women will tick a lot of those boxes. Mm. Um, the things that I noticed with myself was um, white blood cell count was getting really low. So generally when your body's been fighting something chronically. Um, and thyroid, which is not uncommon after pregnancy, but I can see that my thyroid, um, so my brain's trying to stimulate to produce more thyroid hormone because my levels are dropping. So that can also be a sign of, yeah, so moving towards that hypothyroidism. Um, and gut issues are something I have battled with at you know, young years as well, um, which I'm still treating at the moment. Mm. Um, yeah, so I do tick a lot of boxes. And my vision is not as good as it used to be. So it'll be really, I'm really excited to see over these next couple of months how things improve and running further lab testing and further blood testing. 
um, yeah, because I feel like you know, just removing these is already going to you know, allow my body to heal a lot more. Cool. Well, that covers it, what I've written down. Yeah, covered a bit, so. If you have any questions. Please reach out, yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, Follow on Facebook or Instagram, yeah, Trim Tour the there, page, yep. YouTube channel thingy. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you if anyone's got any questions. Um, yeah, we'd love to get the word out there. Hmm. All right, cool, we'll leave it there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Stay humble and don't mean up. Mm -hmm. And the stop button is...